Hey there, StarCraft fans! It's Baka Baladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remaster. Today, it's going to be an incredible best of three featuring Soma and Flash. Here on Cross Game for game number one, top right, it's going to be an orange Terran. It is Flash. And in the bottom left, it's Soma. Man, we love both of these players so much. Soma is going into the military soon, so we're going to miss him and hope he's as good as he is now when he gets back, right? Mm. So, cross game. It's a lava tiled map. Yeah, lava, right? Got a lot of red here. And a lot of stuff that looks like igneous rock, right? Just means it was created by lava somehow. Anyway, what's going on here in this game? Nothing. Nothing's happening yet. Nobody started building a single building whatsoever. Hey, Supply Depot finally comes down in about a minute or so. On the other side of it, looks like a hatch first here on Cross Game. And I'm, oh, I'm like 40% sure this is a four-player map. Let's take a look at it. Oh, it's all wonky, isn't it? Okay, so this is you. Uh, oh, okay, so it's one of those. Hey, you're on the low ground to start your game. And then expand up here for your natural. Holy giant ramp, though. That sucks. Yeah, four-player. Because, no, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Nope. Two-player. Two-player. Because the only place that these two super big low-ground domains are on the map are top right, bottom left. Okay. So, yes. Definitely two-player map. I've definitely cast a couple games on this map before. But I'm getting it mixed up with a couple other ones that I'm familiar with. Anyway, sending a drone out to harass a little bit. We don't see this a ton in this matchup. We will see it in PPT more often, but hey. Drones can harass just as well as probes can. There's that hatch first we talked about. And then whether it's a pool gas or a gas pool here is just up to Soma. I don't think it really matters too much unless he's planning on being aggressive with Lings. In which case he wants that extractor first so we can get that 100 gas out fast for metabolic boost. Or maybe he wants the 100 gas uh, fast because he wants to go for a lair quickly. Alright, so harassing the SCD is good, but he, you know, he constructed the barracks anyway. No real concern there. And here we go. Yep, so that was a pool first into gas. No big deal. Whatsoever. And yeah, so defending this, unfortunately your low ground, which kind of sucks. But yeah, man, walling this off is kind of a nightmare. We'll see what Flash does here with it. Again, if anybody can handle it, it is a Flash. Do we love Flash? We love Flash. Do we love RJP? We love RJB for him. All of the replays that he sends... Including all of this best of three. Between these two players, man. Check him out. YouTube.com slash at RJB underscore TV. So, pool's going to finish here. Not going to have quite enough gas for metabolic boost yet. Because, again, the pool first. That's fine. But, ka -chow and lair. Immediate lair. Very traditional stuff here. Don't need speedlings. Why would you need speedlings? Speedlings, I mean, sure, you can kill the scouting SCD quickly, but... I don't know. Who wants to be doing that? I mean, this is Steve the SCV, and who wants to harm him? He's a nice guy anyway. We've got shirts with Steve the SCV on it at falconballadin.store if you want to check that out. And, ooh. Wow. Fast creep colony. What the heck? Is this, I guess he's... Oh, no, 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 no. He sniffed it out. He sniffed out factory coming in. I think he saw the gas, and he's like, okay, that's a barracks for sure. But this is a factory, and that is a starport coming in, too. So this has got to be fast wraith, but to deal with a vulture, a sunken's going to be really worth its weight in gold here. You don't want to make links to deal with a vulture, especially if they don't have speed yet, and by golly, they don't. Because we're not even getting metabolic boost. Look at this. No link speed researched at all. Unless it researched when I wasn't looking, which is entirely possible. Mm, no, these sure seem like slow links to me. Uh, uh, either way, I like that macro hatch kind of walling off access to this ramp. For those vultures. And what are we going to... Oh, really fast control tower here. Hmm. Hmm. Dropship, maybe? Yeah. Okay, he's going to try to bypass this wall here. And maybe get some vultures dropped into the main base of Soma. I like it. I like the idea. Every Flash fan's like, yeah, do that. Take down the filthy Zerg. Take them down. Second base coming in. Who needs to wall off when you are the one who knocks? When you are the one who pressures, right? 
Hydrolisk Den, and then you're gonna build something. I see you. I see you wanting to become something. There you are, Evo Chamber. So he is really walling off against Vulture Runbys here. But the problem is, you can't wall off against the drop. It's impossible. You have to respond to it other ways, like, you know, with speedlings. So, uh, boy, Vulture Movement's getting researched here. We are gonna pick these guys up, add them to the group three. Uno, dos, tres, and in the pipe, five by five is on its way. Man, cloaking field for race. What is this? Oh, crap. All right. Well, he's slowly. Yeah. Yeah, this is bad. <laughs> See you later, drones. You got to fight for your own lives here, which is not good. Okay, one of the vultures actually died, but this is just an absolute disaster. An utter disaster. He, wow, I don't know what he read that he wanted to get a sunken inside his main. But he did accurately read that he needed a sunken in his main, but so many drones died there. It's 25 to 16 workers now in favor of Flash. Mutas are on the way. But not as many as he could make if his drones weren't dead. Ugh, this is brutal. This is some brutal stuff here, but yeah, man. Flash is like, we gotta mix it up sometimes, right? There are wraiths hunting overlords. The supply block might be in the future for Soma here. Takes a lot fewer hits for a wraith to kill an overlord than a corsair to kill an overlord, which we more... Uh, more, or we should be more often see on the channel, isn't it? In the Starcraft. So, turrets, wraiths, marines, and bunkers. Gonna be pretty good anti mutalisk stuff here. Finally, metabolic boost starts. And a lurker aspect getting built off of two base here. Uh, you, are you a third base? You are an overlord. Hmm. Hmm. Now the question is can he even defend the third base were he to throw one up, right? You wanna go here? Oh, now I recognize the map. That's right, it's the ramp down, and then you can expand here for kind of an easy to take third, but it's only minerals. Yeah, I've cast some incredible PVZs on this map. I'm not sure if I've cast a lot of TVZs on this map, though. And drop ship. Sneaking along the southern side of the map here, and we're going to unload right on top of this sunken. Seems like a bad idea. Is that a fake? That was a fake out. Uh oh. This is for scouting purposes. It's dead now, but hey, it's scouted. Okay, we don't have a queen's nest. No sign of a hive here. The vulture's like, is there a third base anywhere at all? No, not one there. We've checked down here. Okay, this kind of feels like a two base all in at this stage from Soma. He's going to need to get some work done. He's going to need to have enough hiders and mutas to deal with these cloaked wraiths, as well as enough overlords. I'm not sure if he has overlord speed. He does not have overlord speed. <laughs> Definitely not. Oh, gosh. And as a result. This Overlord, who's trying to get home, just gets four volleyed down by these three wraiths so fast. It's basically a supply block for Soma. Flash is putting the heat on right now. Okay, who's got commsat? Uh, there is no commsat. Well, that's interesting, actually. Uh, burrow in. Guess what? You don't have any commsats. Why'd you skip commsat? Oh, this is bad news. Uh, is he building a commsat? No. Oh, but detection. Okay, well... Now the bunker's gone. Man, that science vessel could have come out a little bit earlier. Oh, SCVs! Okay, that was a big group of SCVs that died there. Dude, did Soma just turn this around? He just forced a complete liftoff of the natural base of Flash, taking him down into a one-basing Flash. Flash has something to say about that. I don't know what it is, but he definitely has something to say. These mutas are causing some problems, too. Ah! I mean, going down that ramp is pretty much a no-go right now, but hey, you don't really have to go down the ramp, do you? Your overlords, slow overlords. He's not even getting overlord speed right now. Oh, I don't know about coming down this ramp, guy. Okay, we're going to try to come down this ramp, guy. Immediately, one lurker dies. Kill the turret. Kill the turret. The turret's proof. Okay, well, there's another backup turret. Never mind. I take it back. And this Wraith, good. five kills. This Wraith, four kills. They're gonna, they can take down the Hydralisk. And the Sloverlord dies, but Lings are free inside the house. This Lurker jailbreaking it. It's got 16 kills. And it's just parking right on top of all the productions here. This Wraith really helps get rid of it, though. Wraith hero. <laughs> okay. So I keep thinking these are burrowed lurkers because they kind of look like them, but nope, they're just holes in the ground. They're activating somebody's, I'm sure, trypophobia, which is the fear of, like, holes in things like this, for example. 
Anyway, Soma went for it. I don't know. He didn't kill the second base. He killed some SCDs, but it's still 31 to 19 workers. I don't know if Soma has enough steam to possibly do this. He's making more mutas. He's making more lurkers. He's not researching overlord speed, which hurts me. Ooh, Scourge get a Wraith. That was nice control by Soma. Maybe a little bit sloppy from Flash, potentially. But I'm more willing to give credit to Soma there for sure. Look at these vultures being like, oh... You're a Hydralisk, huh? I'm going to force you to turn into... <laughs> into an egg. Vultures are really good against eggs. That's interesting to me. More Mutas. More Scourge. Tell me he has Overlord Speed. Why in the name of all that is holy does he not have Overlord Speed? This is... Ugh. All right. Well, still two base to two base. spider Mine says, you don't have a third base yet. Yeah, science vessels are going to be worth their weight in gold here against this lurker stuff. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to see a way that Soma can win this game, but he's still down 31 to 19 workers. Actually, building more workers now is Flash. Flash has a thing to say, and we're going to try to translate it. Chrome, apparently, is what Google Translate thinks that means, which uh, seems inaccurate. But hey, Muto's radiate split. Not a big group. This is four Mutalisks, man. Good number of Scourge, though. So, Science Vessel does go down. He doesn't sack all of the Scourge to do that. He's trying. Oh, my gosh. Oh, it gets another Science Vessel, though. That's huge. Humongous. That's so big. Are all the Science Vessels dead? I think so. Another one's getting started up, but it's going to be here in a minute. Spider Mines are detectors. Yes. Scans in, sees, is there anything he needs to worry about down here? No, nothing new for Flash. Marine range finishing up here. Getting an armor upgrade in addition to the plus one attack upgrade that he has, but I don't know. These mutas all die. Why on earth? He just can't spare any gas at all, apparently, for Overlord's speed. Flash is just defending right now as hard as he can. That said, this Muta group is getting some work done. No upgrades on these guys. Took down a turret, killing an SCV, killing a group of Marines. This game is bonkers. I cannot believe how action-packed this has been. We're only 12 minutes into this thing for game one. It feels like it's been 20 minutes. All right. Uh, Muta, oh my gosh, the science vessel died again. If Flash is going to win this game, he needs to stop losing science vessels like this. If you're building science vessels, your strategy is dependent on science vessels, and if you can't keep them alive, you lose. Dude, the SCVs are getting obliterated. That said, it's still more SCVs than the last time I checked. Nope, now it's even. 31 to 19. We're back to 31 to 19, everybody. Feels like that's a famous football score. American football score. 31 19, you know? Yeah, it's weird to get 19 points, but... Not impossible. No, no score is really impossible, except for one, I think. Anyway, yeah. Soma is trying to go for it here. This third base situation is just a negatory ghost rider. Dragon spider mines into Marines. That was a pretty sick move. Wow. But look at this. Double bunker at the front. We saw that earlier, but it's still there. Mutas flying over groups of Marines, trying to get as much value as mutalistically possible here. Just no upgrades for these guys at all. It's such a major problem. That science vessel is going to die too. Oh, have gotten a radiate off. That was nice. The split was not great here. Oh, the last one is the... Uh, okay, this might be GG. This might be him like, all right. I'm down 37 to 21 total workers. Uh, ooh, is that a spider mine or something there? That might have been a spider mine that connected there. Either way, Flash is like, I don't need a third base. Let's just sit here on two bases, keep making Marines, keep making Medics, get some more turrets up, keep making science vessels, irradiate the stuff, just hold and hold and hold and hold and hold and hold and hold. And Soma's refusal to get Overlord Speed is freaking me the heck out. Uh, so remember how this was supposed to be protected against Vulture stuff? Yeah, that didn't happen. Actually, Soma was trying to drone up there a little bit. He's uh, 21 workers now. After losing some, after droning. Yeah, this is... This is GG for game one, man. Flash. Excellent read of the situation. Scouting constantly to see what Soma is up to. 
getting a radiates out, getting upgrades for his boys. Range and 1-1 one, one is done here and killing still overlords just because it's that much fun to pop them. And uh, Flash has something to say here. I'm sorry, he says. <laughs> Flash apologizing there. That's interesting. Gotta say, didn't expect that. I, I mean, look, Soma, I appreciate that you're getting a third base at your 15 minutes, but it's just not, it's not enough. I don't know if Soma had waited, perhaps, for bigger groups of Mutos before going in. He could have gotten more done with them, but I don't know. This has been fairly effective anyway. Medics in the middle line healing up these SCVs. They can be healed and they can be repaired. Oh, again, the split here from Soma. Really bad. Like, so <laughs> worse splits. Oh my gosh, those splits were so bad. 38 to 21 workers. GG! Soma taps out and flash. <gasps> Is our winner. In 15 minutes and 59 seconds. Yeah. This was Flash reading a two base Lurker Muta kind of attack here. He dealt with it. Yes, he had to lift off his second base and float it inside the main for safety for a bit. But he didn't lose it. That was key. And then he just kind of defended down here a little bit. Detection. Marines. Medics. It was touch and go for a minute there. But he was able to bust out because he's Flash. Retake the high ground. Get spider mines out. Right? Vulture harass all over the place. Make sure there's no third base from Soma. And therefore, you don't need a uh, third base of your own and then just kind of ride this to victory this is flash in a nutshell absolutely beautiful 69,000 to 60,000 points here flash out producing those are very interesting we don't see that a lot out, the killing is very similar too but flash did out kill the zerg but not by that much structure is at six raised to zero that's an interesting number to see in a loss there for the zerg but this is it. Flash out spending the Zerg player 20 to 18. It's just not going to work. Not going to work in a 15 minute game. Maybe in a shorter game, right? You can get away with it because you're aggressive. But in the situation, game went too long. Could not outspend the Terran at all. And game one goes to Flash. Excellent. This is what Flash fans came for. They wanted to see this. So let's see if Soma's going to fall over in game two. Or maybe we get a game three on our hands. Who knows? Stick with it. Hit that like button if you haven't already. And guess what? I'm going to be right back. Game two is on Circuit Breakers. Uh-oh, Zerg fans are not happy about that. Top left, it's Flash. Top right, it is Soma. Woo! Let's see who's going to come out on top here in game number two. Scouting out the wrong way is Terror the Overlord, but that prolongs his life, so that's okay. And what is going on in the world of entertainment recently. Hmm. The live action Snow White and the Seven Dwarves was delayed to 2025. I guess it needed some reshoots. There was some backlash uh, against some statements made by the actress that would play Snow White. So I don't know, maybe they're reshooting it? Man. Disney cannot get a win recently, right? And maybe that's okay, in your estimation. I kind of feel like they deserve it, but anyhow. Hope you are enjoying December on this channel, because I have been uploading, uh, uploading replays and casts on Friday. I do not do, uh, don't usually do so. But I said, hey, it's December, the season of giving. So how can I give back to my community? One extra Brood War cast a week. That's how. And yeah, some bangers from RJB for December as well. So hatch first in it here on Circuit Breakers. Are we gonna see Mech here from Flash? Let's see how early he takes his gas. Pool at 11 supply. Yeah, I think it's going to be a one racks expand timing here. Yep, so Steve says, okay, this is a hatch first. It's safe enough to go ahead and expand myself. And no gas. No gas yet. 
<laughs> drone. <laughs> Getting caught up on that ramp. Yeah, pathing. Pathing is always a problem. Oh, so maybe it's a three, th super early third hatch. Because, yeah, this is no gas. Zero gas at 2 minutes and 42 seconds. Uh, oh, Flash is like, where's your gas? Oh, it just came up, actually. Hold on. Are you salty, says Flash? <laughs> Wait, does that translate? How the heck? No, says Soma. L, says Flash. Yes, says Flash. Is this really Flash? He was being bad manner here. Soma says... Oh, Flash says, is it real? This guy. Soma says, it's not real. What about you, says Flash. This conversation is not going very well. As Steve the SED gets wiped out. During disco, you during disco, dead. Come on. This is Flash. <laughs> it's not me, Young Ho. What is going on here? Not Flash, brother Young Ho. I think there maybe is a bit of confusion about who's involved in this game. All right, we're just going to stop talking about it. There's the gas, and look, there was enough gas to get a lair while I was chattering away trying to translate. Ooh, second gas coming in now, too. This is big mutilisk all the time here from Soma. Let's take a look. Engineering Bay, Academy. No sign of a second Rax here, just making as many Marines as needed to stay alive here against these Zerglings. As one is wont to do, love the macro hatch. It's another tell, a bit of a tell, that we're gonna get a lot of mutilisks out on the map. So, bunker up just in case like 50 Lings all of a sudden show up magically, not likely to happen, but I don't know. Maybe it does, maybe it does. That's right. Bunker says, get out. And he doesn't know when these Marines are going to come across. He doesn't know if there's a vulture coming in, so he's going to throw up a very safety sunken anyway. Second rack's on the way. So no factory here. No vultures in production. And Spire getting started here. Sub five minutes. Lings keep poking in. I don't know what you guys are trying to do. Maybe just trying to catch that marine count a little bit and be like, is this mech or is this... Is this going to be SK Terran? It definitely feels like an SK Terran to me. All of the pieces are coming together for Flash. And if there's anyone who can make this work consistently, it's Flash. Third base coming up five minutes, and this is very vulnerable. It's a vulnerable time. If these marines and these medics just start walking, like A, moving across the map to this base right now... I think they could kill it. It's just the concern is how many lings are out here. If we leave, do they jump on us, right? So these lings are providing a little bit of second-guessing game here for Flash, which is good. If you're making Flash think twice about what he's doing, you're probably in a better place than if he's just in the flow, you know? So Spire's going to finish. We're going to have nine mutas popping out here of the available nine larvae. And the mineral count's not going to be nice. The mineral count's not going to play with us here. But, hang on, hold your horses. That's a scan, and he sees the spire, sees the macro hatch, sees the overlord, says, okay, yep, that's six mutas, that's seven mutas. Lings, get a marine kill and back off. So the Ling's job here is to make sure this base doesn't die and maybe get a little of a run by if Flash heads down past these bridges, but no. There it is. Oh, 10 mutalisks even, and even 11. 11 mutalisks. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, maybe. Yep, there we go. Fired one up. Okay, so we stack 11 here. 6 minutes and 30 seconds. Tons of mutalisks. Hydroden on the follow-up. No armor or attack upgrade for these mutalisks. So I don't know if we're going to keep making them. It's a pretty heavy investment into mutalisks oh, starting out. Absolutely. But if he was planning on making them throughout the rest of the next, you know, 5 or 6 minutes, Maybe even longer than he would definitely be working on a carapace upgrade or more likely an attack upgrade. This is a surround scenario here, isn't it? Let's say he wants to get a full surround on this group and wipe it out, but he's worried he's going to lose all of his mutos if he does it. 
Yeah, I mean, come on. These lings down here. I mean, at the very least, it's preventing Flash from getting down to that bottom right-hand corner. That is a ton of Marines, which is where Lurker Aspect comes in and your ability to defend this base against a ton of Marines. Yeah, the Mutas are just like, yeah, medic sniped. Excellent job. Marines. It's just the rule here has to be, if you're going to take hits, you got to do damage. you got to get in there and cause all sorts of problems here. Flash. Plus one attack. Working on plus one armor. Scanning. Trying to see, are there hiders at the top of that ramp? Yes. Are they lurkers yet? No. Hmm. Maybe there's a window we can get this done. 41 to 31 workers. About normal at this stage of the game. Just need to solidify that third. And then Flash takes an abrupt change up to the top here. Ooh, now he's gonna make a move directly into the, uh, the natural base. Quick, get some eggs down, buy some time. Two sunkins, Muta's attacking here too. Uh, three sunkins, I don't know if Flash should be committing to this. This is not going well for him. Ling's coming around the backside, helping. Just little bits of damage are always good in this entire group. Gets eliminated. Yo! Yeah, Flash should have backed out a little bit there. Soma says, I need to scrim. I don't know what we're translating scrim from, but okay, that's what uh, Google Translate said he said. Maybe I need to scream. He's like, that was great. That was a freaking incredible display. Hive in production for the Zerg. Was it Siani? Oh, gosh. Horse, don't do it. Dude, now. I don't even know. I'm not even sure if it's worth translating here. This is not this is not very clear. Not clearing anything up, really. Engine, second engineering bay coming in. More and more barracks on the way. Got the concept of dropships being introduced and a science facility in production here, too. Back here in the natural base. The home of Flash looking like this right now. Supply depot's up north. Starport set to the back. All sorts of barracks set up here. But it's a three gassing Zerg player. He's got Lurker Tech out now. And, you know, he's trying to get up there to that Dark Swarm stuff that everybody's like, yeah, come on. Overpowered. If you're going SK Terran, it especially is. This is another dead group? This is another dead group? Man. Yeah, entirely wiped out group here. Who needs armor or attack upgrades if you're a Mutalisk? Soma doesn't believe in them. Apparently, yeah. I mean, look, it's tit for tat here. The Mutas are dying. They're taking damage. But Marines are going with it. And in that case, everything is A-OK. -okay. There we go. We're going to get our 0, zero Adrenalings up. Yay! The 0, zero Adrenalings show. It's not here yet. These are just 0, zero Lings, which kind of suck. But with Muta support, yeah, it works out. So another group of Flash is getting absolutely bodied here. Mm. Adrenal, like I said, Adrenal zero zero lings make me laugh every time. It's an incredible upgrade, right? Attacking the attack speed, uh, increasing the attack speed by that much is incredible. But you know, if they had another plus attack, that'd be nice. I don't know. I guess it doesn't really matter. Oh, I'm trying to drop up this way, but guess what? That Zergling totally scouted that. Let's see if there's any kind of a response from Soma. And it is. Okay, well, one of the dropships dies immediately before unloading a single thing. And um, there's not enough to actually deal with this. Okay, all the workers, all the workers in the main base get pretty much pulled out here, except for the ones that keep working and are dying as a result. Workers trying to burrow into places. No, but they get behind the mineral line. Oh, gosh, this is just feeding. It's feeding right now. Drones dying. And it wasn't a lot that got unloaded here because, again, the other dropship got obliterated before it could unload a single thing. Plus, medics dying is really bad news in general for a Terran trying to go SK Terran, yeah? Hey, look, we're getting pneumatized carapace in this game. And consume, irradiate from Plash. Not a huge surprise. But, yeah, when you're up, well, he was up. Somo was up 95 to, like, 92 or something. You're feeling all right if you're up. Did he just try to drop down here, too? Why is there a single medic here? Did she walk in? Maybe, maybe she walked in. She had taken some damage. 
I guess. Radiate, Soma, better split on that one. Better split on that one. I mean, it, you can't do much worse than what he did in game one for splitting. Yeah, factory floating. And more drop chips being added into the composition here from Flash. Throwing up macro hatches down here at the third. A fourth base is probably going to come up as soon as... I would say once consume is done, it's pretty safe to probably take this fourth. Soma doesn't seem to have any plans doing that, but that's all right. I guess we're just kind of sharking around. Quick plug, you can join this channel as a supporting member directly here on YouTube. If you don't like Patreon, I'm out there, patreon.com slash falconpaladin. It's about a 3% cut at Patreon. If you want to do that for as little as a dollar a month, the most of your money will go to me on a monthly basis. The vast majority. Uh, and here on YouTube, it's closer to like a 60, 70, 30 split, something like that. Not as good, but hey, if you trust YouTube more than you like Patreon, it's a good option for you. Just got to click that join button down below, down below this area here, down, down, down. And for as little as a couple bucks a month, you could become an awesome member of the channel. Oh, gosh. All right. So maybe this is why we don't see as many drops. I always talk about how much we need more drops from Terrans. And then it's like, ah, uh, but Scourge and Mutalisks are about. You know what? I could not have gone worse. And I, s well, it could have gone worse. It went really bad. And they're still going to get the spawning pool out of it. That's a pretty good snipe. I mean, it wasn't in time to stop Adrenal from being researched or anything. Oh, gosh. Dark Swarm. That's right. Plus one Adrenalings, man. Okay, another drop. Flash is like, they can't all get intercepted like this. Scourge it up. Scourge it up. No, not scourging it up. Drop, 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 drop. Dark Swarm protecting the drones, protecting the Lurker. Dropping here in the main base, too, but getting absolutely jumped on. And more Dark Swarms. Okay, so Soma is just crushing this drop tech. Kind of easily, man. And like I said, fourth base coming up a lot later than I said, but it's happening nevertheless. Ooh, the Filer gets a Dark Swarm up just in the nick of time save his own behind. He's at 23 HP. Gonna consume some more lings for further Dark Swarm edge. There we go. And, oh! He swings back into his own Dark Swarm perfectly. Lurker's burrowing inside the new Dark Swarm that he created. What the? How did that Defiler die? He must have gotten irradiated. That's the only way. There are only Marines here. He was so protected. Hmm. I don't know where these screws are going, but that was a complete waste. <laughs> Brutal. Plague coming in. I mean, how many times have we seen SK Terran versus Zerg on the channel over the last, you know, years and months? A lot. A lot of times. It's hard. It's hard to deal with. If you're a Zerg player, you need to kill science vessels, and that seems to be the key to this whole darn thing. Keep your science vessels alive, and you can win. Man, once Ultras start coming out... Oh, boy. Okay, two dropships down. I'm not sure if those were full or not. I mean, this one is, so I assume they were. You wouldn't send dropships out for bait anyway. They're a little too expensive just to be bait. But regardless, not good. Where's your third base? Flash is, like, allergic to a third base in this game. I guess he's floating one down here now, which the Zergling is blocking hilariously. I mean, he's going to die, but that's all right. All these lurkers just setting up. I'm sure if you send enough Marines for this. There we go. Now you did. Okay, another drop. Oh, Hydra's pick that one out of the sky. Dark Swarm at the front. Playing on the science vessels because they came forward to irradiate. They got to take a scourge, a hit of themselves, and a plague hit for themselves. Soma pulling back, being like, nah, nah, fam. Not happening. This is... There you go. Three base. So three base to four base. Kitness plating on the way. Ultralisks in the future. I don't know if we have any right now, and I'm pretty sure we don't. Uh, nice. This is... Ah, there we go. That's Flash-esque. 
That's what we like to see. Ah! I don't know what those lurkers are trying to do. Did just replay the same science vessels? It kind of seems like that's what happened. Lurkers at the front having the time of their lives. Three ultras on the way. Now that kind of plating is finishing up. One lurker, a defiler, and a dream. Fire bats! Shut it down. Late game fire bats added from Flash. What else do we expect from this man? Let's see if Flash is try to get a fourth base down here. This is looking good. This is looking pretty good for Flash. But what else do we expect? Oh, that was the sound of a science vessel dying, but only one. That's okay. The fire bats are like, we can do this. But then the ultralisks pop out right in the wrong time. All right. Time to irradiate the ultras. They're fat and chonky. They will kill many zerglings with their bodies. And they are. They're killing way more lings than the marines are so far in this thing. A little bit of a slow hydra group swinging up this bottom way. What's that all about? I don't know. And that's it. Flash. Looks like that's a GG. He's got something to say anyway. To me, called Bubbles, it's a punishment, says Soma. What the heck? An Ultralisk does get into this third base, but I mean, he's going to die because he's horribly outnumbered. There are some fire bats here causing issues. Man, Anabolic Synthesis is a really good upgrade to have for these Ultras. I always forget how slow they are when they don't have that upgrade. Look at them trundle. They positively trundle here. Why are you so good, says Flash. <laughs> this conversation is fun. This is so chattery. Science vessel down, science vessel down. And that's it. GG Flash taps out. He's like, okay, I don't have enough to handle this. You're on way too many bases. Don't have the answer to Ultralisks at the moment. The Irradiates are running low, and bam! Game two goes to Soma in almost 20 minutes. And again, a bit of a... Uh, a bit of a... Not a rematch, a bit of a broken record we've seen on this channel more often than not, right? Is that if you let the Zerg player get to Ultras, and they already have Dark Swarm by that point probably, and Plague and stuff, it's really hard for SK Terran to win. You need a ton of science vessels. You need to be constantly irradiating every ultra that you see every time you see an ultra. And every defiler needs to get one too. So that's why you need the science vessel count. There are a bunch of them here. Not enough, probably. Oh, this was happening as well. I totally missed that. But yeah, he just couldn't stop this with a bunker full of zero marines. Yep, so well played there, Soma. Just, I mean, it's... <laughs> It seems simple. It's like, just wipe out the first couple attacks of the Terran and you'll have a better time. And it's like, that's a big dash, especially against Flash. 130 to 102 supply here in favor of Soma. Out produced the Terran, out killed the Terran, uh, but lost two buildings. Did not kill any Terran buildings today, but this is the number that matters. Out spent by about 9,000 resources was Flash. And that's going to be, that's tough. That is tough to come back from. That is tough to win the game with. So 401 APM to 364 and Soma. Gets the win, outspending, expanding, defending, all that stuff, working to just very, very impressive levels. So now we have a rubber match, game number three between these two players, Flash and Soma. Who will come out on top? Who will be the winner of this best of three and get all of the bragging rights? Let's find out. I'll be right back. Game three, we're back on cross game. Top right, it is Flash. Bottom left, it is Soma. Same spawn locations as game number one, but it's a different replay. All right, so again, two player map. Terry knows where to go. Terry the Overlord merch at falconpaladin.store. And if you just want to donate once and not have it be a recurring thing, that's PayPal at falconpaladin at gmail.com. That's my email address for PayPal. And yeah, pretty much 99.99999% of your donation will get to me. PayPal's fees are very, very low. So yeah, let's see. Let's see if Flash can come out on top. Or will Soma defend very, very well and then come out on top a little bit later? We will see here on Cross Game. 
you can find me on Twitter. You can find me on Facebook. You can find me on Reddit. I've been posting out there a little bit recently. You know, if you're any of these social media locations, uh, try and TikTok a little bit too. But I mean, considering the age range of my viewers is like 26 to 39, I'm not sure how many of you dudes, and it's very heavily dude, are on TikTok. It's like 2.3% female viewers on the channel, which is awesome. I love everyone who watches the channel. <laughs> I'm not saying I care uh, about that. It's just uh, those are the numbers. Them are the facts, you know? More chitter-chattering going on between these two. I don't know why there's so much chitter-chattering, but there certainly is. There's nothing to talk about right now. You don't even know what's going on. Look. Ah, ta-da! Now you know. Now you know what's happening. Drone says, ah, another early gas. Okay, so at this point, I'm definitely going to have to be getting uh, sunken at the front. Because the factory is the next thing going to be built after this barracks, without a doubt. Unless there are some mind games played here. Possibly some sort of a mind game, yes, by Flash, where he's like, aha, I have gas, but I'm not going to use it, which is actually dumb. It's something that I would try, but... But, you know, then it wouldn't work. Anywho, everything's fine. Everything's fine. There's a hatch first from Soma. Extractor pool on the way. That's going to provide some creep to put a creep colony on here fairly soon. And behold, the Terran factory under construction. One of the great wonders of the Caprulu sector. SCV on the scout. You don't have to scout immediately against a Zerg, right? You can get out here, and if it's a pool first, you'll see the Lings coming across about now, right? And that could be enough. Enough to pull some SCVs, right? Get some Marines behind them. Hold the door. Hold the door. Bow, bow, bow. Immediate lair. At some point, you're gonna want a creep colony. Ooh, machine shot before Vulture here from Flash. That's interesting. I thought he would go right into Vulture. This Kikaru. Is it spying? Is it spying for the Zerg? No, it doesn't have a parasite on it. You can't have a parasite out <laughs> 333 anyway. So, yeah. You there. Is he waiting for the... Yeah, I was waiting for the creep to spread a little bit out. Before he threw down that creep colony. Gonna upgrade that thing to a sunken... Oh, yeah. Now, the question is... Is this gonna be Flash going mech today? He's getting a very fast vulture speed. So it very well could be him mecking here on cross game. Which would be fun. I cannot remember the last time I cast a mech game on cross game. And by mech, I mean TVZ, obviously, but yeah. Okay, so kind of setting up the whole same wall against potential Vulture run buys that he did in game number one. Will it be enough? Again, gonna spire up here. We got a Ling to try to stop Vultures from swinging in here, looping around and getting down this ramp. But that's a sunken hit, a sunken hit, a sunken hit, a sunken, it's too many sunken hits. It's really tough. I mean, maybe again, you can get up behind this mineral line, which we saw Flash do in game one. Oh, he's going for it. All right, drones, ah, pinning them, oh! Pinning them in the mineral line of pain. Yeah, that was beautiful by Soma. Like, okay, well, the Lings couldn't stop it. But guess what can? That's right, the drones. The drones have been pressed into service. And they pulled it off. Well, it's another starport. Man, what is it about this map that Flash likes dropships and wraiths and stuff? I don't know. I can't think of any particular attributes of this map that would tell me that wraiths are extra good here. But Hydroden coming in. A Valkyrie. Oh, every Terran player is just like, oh, hooray, a Valkyrie, let's go. That's right, let's go, Valkyrie indeed. You get comments on my cast every once in a while. Why the heck don't Terrans make Valkyries against Zergs? Okay, well, your buddy died, but you're in. And there's not a sunken down here this time, because this totally sucks. Oh, man, so much. 
When you're gonna wall, you kinda gotta wall. Gosh, stop taking hits from this Ling. Stop it. He really doesn't just wanna kill it. Okay. Um. That was questionable. You should not have died to this slow Ling. I'm sorry. I know you wanted to kill as many drones as you could, and I appreciate it. But you would still be alive if you just killed that Zergling. Huh. Okay, well the Mutas are gonna run face first into Valkyrie without any skirt support. Which is generally a bad thing. Ready? Yep. Ow. Ow. <laughs> yeah. The Mutas. Ah, the distance here is really far too. Yep. He needs Scourge. He did. He fired up a pair. He's like, oh, all right. Guess we need that. Ooh. Queen's Nest, too. This has got to be for Queens. This cannot be for like a two base hive play. Get in snare. Get in snare. Come on. Oh, Metabolic Boost is on the way now. It is a hive. Never mind. Ah, my hopes. My hopes are dashed. I thought for sure that would be in snare. But instead, it's two base hive. What is this? Look at how fast vultures are, man. Look at these guys. Got his matching green jumpsuit on today. Oh. Rest in peace, jumpsuit guy. Vulture bike pilot. Valkyries covering the front a little bit here. Maybe a third base today? Oh my gosh, a third base on this map from Soma. The Zergs are blessed this day, as Soma shall take a third. At this, the seventh minute of this game, and by that I mean he totally could, but he's not doing it. Because he's too busy trying to get Scourge connections on these Valkyries. There you go. Now I can expand, he says. Cool. The Hiders all... Oh, um, the Hiders could have helped these Valkyries stay away from the Mutas, but instead they all just turned into Lurkers. Well, Lurker Eggs, which not only can they not shoot up, they can't shoot down either. Lurker Eggs are pretty useless, man. Their potential is nice. Obviously. All right, so it's going to be like a Ling Lurker attack. Like, guess what you don't have? You put a lot of money into Valkyries, but Valkyries can't help against a Ling Lurker attack, so let's try that. Yeah, look at these SCVs. Like, we're ready to repair. We're ready to body block. We know what's happening. Oh, boy. Here it comes. Mm, there's a Siege Tank, though. Someone's like, do I go? If there's a siege tank at the top of this ramp, ow. I think there's more than one siege tank at the top of this ramp. No, okay, pull back. Pull and back. Why are you going, says Flash. <laughs> Get out. Just... <laughs> the sound of a science vessel going down to Scourge while I was trying to translate there. There is some riffing going on in this best of three, without a doubt. So Zerg players feel okay about this, though, because it's a third base from the Zerg. He's got a hive already, which is pretty fast. To be having consume on the way in the nine-minute mark is zippy. It's not, like, the fastest, but, you know, it's faster than average. More and more scans. He's like, all right, that's a third base. You've got a high and a defiler mound already. Uh-oh. Maybe Flash is not feeling good about this one. Stim finishing up here at nine minutes. Seep is pretty late. But again, Valkyrie's early. Barracks later, you know? It's completely shut down the concept of Mutalisks in this game. Still trying to get some Scourge up. Ooh, there we go. Adrenal on the way for the zero, zero, Zergling. Zero, zero, Adrenalings in the house. And this group's like, we don't know. We don't want to fight Siege Tanks. Thank you. Goodbye. Lurkers and Siege Tanks do not get along. So it's not SK Terran. It's Valkyries. It's Tanks. It's Marines. It's Medics. Spider Mines getting researched, which means we're going to get some more Vultures, too. This is very hybrid-y. Out of flash, and I gotta say, I like it. Oh my gosh, that science vessel dying was such a problem. That was your detection. Now the lurkers can burrow on this ramp, or burrow anywhere they want, and you're in a lot of trouble. Yeah, this tank's like, run. Okay, good save. Good save. This group, oh my gosh, gets a dark swarm too. Forcing flash to bail from this location as well. Does not like anything that's going on here. Decides to push forward anyway. 
There are no lurkers at this base, but there is a sunken at the top of the ramp, and there are 0-0 zero, zero Adrenalings down here and Dark Swarms. But all of a sudden, whoosh, Lings get inside the Dark Swarm. Take these tanks down. One tank down. Two tanks down. Just kidding. Uh, one tank down and saved it. Okay, so good. Ooh, the micro there pulling out. Supply blocking Soma, kind of, kind of supply blocking him, and not really, but forced to fall back. Kind of the same thing that happened over here, except on the other side. Your radiated defiler explosion of the century. Another science vessel dies. How many is that now? Three? There might be three science vessels dead, or maybe just two. Let's see if Flash is going to manage to take a third base here on this map. I just, I have all this leftover anxiety from game one where neither player took a third base, and usually I cast games where we get third bases, you know? Just great. Beautiful. Okay, maybe don't walk past the lurker spines, but whatever. You're kind of dodging him as you move anyway. That's okay. Fourth base coming up top left here from Soma. He's getting metasynaptic node. He's working on more and more defilers here. He's got another group. This guy's been irradiated. Can he survive long enough to Dark Storm again? Yes, but oh, that spider might just killed a bunch of lings and a lurker. That was massive. Uh, Skurg, no connections there. This lurker is alive. <laughs> That's so big. Ugh. This is scraptastic. Flashes up 175 supply, 51 to 39 total workers. It's not a supply block from Soma, but losing an Overlord, it always hurts. It always slows you down. As a Zerg player, I can tell you, from personal experience, hunting Overlords is a way to make the Zerg player feel like, why don't I have enough money or supply ever? It's frustrating. But yeah, third base rocking. This Zergling wants to scout it. I see you. I see you wanting to scout. Oh, scouting here. But also... I guess there's only one way in here, so uh, you could sneak in if you wanted to. Ooh. Vulture cut out in the middle of the map and killed by Lings is not something that should really ever happen. Well, there we go again. Too much going on. Too much happening here. Ultralisk Cavern on the way. Someone says it worked in last game. Worked in game numero dos. But this time Flash says, I will have siege tanks. And it will be glorious. Spider mines and siege tanks help against lurkers a lot. Coming down, taking oh, coming down, taking some hits. What are you repositioned for? Radiate on the one lurker. Really like this fourth base to come up. That'd be nice. This SCV is going to die. <laughs> there we go. I think he was attacking his own command center, so the splash damage would hit the lurker there. Pretty sure. This is a bad Ling engagement. They took stuff with them, but this is looking more and more mechy as I stare at it, yeah? Uh, yes, definitely. More and more factories being built here. The barracks are lifted. It is going to be mech here on cross game. Kindness plating on the way. The old Charon boosters on the way here, too. And let's see if he can get it. Let's see if he can get here, right? Let's see if he can get up to that tank count that's going to make the Ultralisks think twice about moving anywhere on the map. Lings clearing out spider mines with their little squishy bodies. This one's glitched out. Hey, bud. Oh, and then just reburrow. That's fine. Yeah, Lurker's trying to get up here, but that Dark Swarm is devoid of Zerg. It turns out. Mm, Titanus plating. Pneumatized Carapace on the way for the Overlords. Uh, mech upgrades starting up now for Guess Who Flash. He's already got plus one attack. Yeah, Flash's success rate with mech against Zerg on the channel, I feel, is like 80%, man. It's really high as the science vessel goes down to Scourge. Hmm. Not exactly what you want to see. Soma, pretty happily on four bases. Might take a fifth base here. Maybe down here. It's a bit of a weird base to take on this map if you're a Zerg player. 
Yeah, suddenly this vulture count is big. The spider mines are everywhere. It's just getting a lot harder for the Zerg just to kind of navigate around the map. Vultures, nice little surround here on that lurker, wiping it out. Nicely done. Spawn Broodling on the way. Game three is going to give us some Spawn Broodling shenanigans. This is the third time in like a week I've put out a video where it's mech against Zerg and they go Spawn Broodling. A drop attempt here gets absolutely obliterated and shut down. There was nothing in these overlords. Do you think those ones are empty too? No. No possible way. Nice plague. Really nice plague. Plagued spider mines. Not something you see every day. Kind of funny, honestly. Ow. 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 Spider mine hits our spider miney. Spider mine, spider mine. Doing whatever a spider mine can. Uh, Vultures are going to try to take down. Yeah, like I said, a weird place to expand for the Zerg. Vultures are going to try to get this hatch down. And. Given enough time, they will. It's just, it's tough. There's a 12 o'clock base comes up here from Flash 2. This is looking like a very solid Flash mech game. The transition was smooth as silk. Just absolutely smooth as silk here. And the Ultras running in, but no Dark Storm protecting them. And I'm sure that I don't know that it really matters anyway. D Matrix on these Siege tanks. 174 to 137 supply. And my gosh, Spider Mines doing some friendly fire, but taking a lot of lings with them as well. This one sunken is problematic. Sea Tank's got to reposition Ultras. Oh, Spider Mines clearing that Ultra out before he connects with that tank at all. Trying to ling Ultra his way down here to save this hatch. It does come up. Uh, Vultures against Ultras are really, really bad. Like, really bad. But even with mech, though, coming up a ramp is tough. This sunken positioning is beautiful, by the way. It is absolutely perfect. Like, coming up this way, you almost have to, like, get in range of the sunken before you can hit it. But if you scan, that gives you the vision up the ramp anyway. So that works out quite nicely. All right, queens are here. Do they have... Oh, they almost have the spawn broodling. And now they do. All right. So this is a bunch of queens with spawn broodling. Maybe use it now before sending that ultra lisk into his death, perhaps? I guess after the ultra is dead, then... Oh, my God. One, two, three, four, five, six. He just wiped out almost this entire group. Broodlings, get him. Get the siege tank. Oh, my gosh. The broodlings are going to kill the siege tank. Go. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was incredible. Wow. Uh, oh, that Spider-Man connection on those medics was brutal. Boxer maneuvering happening up here. I think some of the drones evac into the Nidus. Boxer maneuvering among the queens might be pretty effective, actually. Also, this group looks pretty ripe for it. Yeah, the boxer maneuver. Ow, 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 ow. Scourge wipe out one of the science vessels, but not the second one, and not the one that's been irradiated either. This game is bonkers right now. But I mean, look, that's another base from Flash. That's a base from Flash. This base is dead. Look at, see, that's the problem with Queens. It's that you can't produce spawn broodlings as fast as the Terran can produce tanks. It's largely the issue with this entire strategy. Have we seen it work? Yes. Does it work like half of the time? Not really. Not even close. 156 to 109 supply. It's not like Flash is maxed out or anything. Oh, single target damage, guys. Oh, there we go. Now it's fine. Totally fine. This little Ling Ultra group heading down to the bottom right. And that's it. We got a GG out of Soma and Flash wins it with his mech at the 20 minute and 33 second mark. What a great, great display. That was amazing. That was amazing. 
Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's very traditional opening up some Marines and stuff, getting them stim, getting them upgrades, and then get adding some tanks and switching over into full mech by the end of the game. Plus two, plus one upgrades here. He has this base as well. I mean, this is a game where I think the Terran out mined the Zerg. We'll have to check that final score to be sure, though. But Flash comes out on top. And this just gives further evidence to all of my Terran fans out there that, you know, even Flash can't win with SK Terran. He has to go mech against these Zergs to get wins. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's anecdotal evidence. It is. And a lot of SK Terrans do get wins before the 20-minute mark, which is where most of my casts go. So let's not use Falcon Paladin cast as evidence of how the current meta is working in StarCraft, right? Let's not do it. Regardless, GG Flash. What a fantastic display. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this match. And what do we got? 131 to 125,000 supply here. Flash is up. He got outproduced, but he outkilled by a 3 to 1 ratio. That's a pretty good kill death ratio. 6 to 0 buildings raised in favor of Flash. And this is very close. 43,000 resources apiece mined, but uh, Soma did come out on top. 43,444 to 43,231. If you outmine your Terran opponent Flash by 200 resources in 20 minutes, it's not going to work. It's not going to work in the long term here. So, uh, yeah, that was impressive. That was a really fun, that was a really fun best of three series there. I mean, shoot, I'm trying to, trying to remember all the stuff that happened. We had Wraiths, we had Valkyries, we had Mech. We had drops attempted, entirely shut down. We had ultras, lurkers, defilers, adrenalings with no attack upgrades or armor. We got fire bats up in here. I mean, that was a really, really fun best of three. Flash comes out on top like the legend that he is. And again, thanks RJB for the replays, man. You're the best. All right, so that is going to be it for me today. This has been Falcon Paladin coming at you with yet another edition of StarCraft Brood War Remastered. Go ahead, hit that like button. Hit that subscribe if you like what you saw and what you heard today. You can also catch me on Twitter, Facebook, Patreon, and Twitch, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you so much for watching, and you take care of yourself. Thank you.